Bond measure 4A will be on the ballot for this upcoming November election. Voters will either vote yes or vote no to build a brand new school for the Plateau Valley, replacing the 62 year old building for students from preschool to 12th grade. But the bond will cost taxpayers close to 35 million through property taxes. The school district 50 superintendent told me the students need the larger space and the technology to be the best they can be. The bell sounds for lunch at the Plateau Valley School, but if bomb measure 4A is approved by voters this November, the bell and the old building will be replaced, but never forgotten. All the memories that we have in here are not because of the building, they were because of the people inside of them. He's not just the superintendent, he's also a proud graduate from 1981 with a mission to enhance the education for future generations. This place has given my parents and my family, both my siblings, um, an awful lot during during our lives and so if this is some way I could possibly give back to this community to this school then then I'm proud to be here and I'm proud to be the leader of the school. If the bonds passed it won't just be the building that's replaced. There'll be a new auxiliary gym there'll also be a football field with an all-weather track and lights which we've never had here at Plateau Valley. The total project will cost 45 million but the time to get it done is even more valuable. We have 10.3 million dollars from the best grant which is a state state grant that builds you know helps you build schools. Um, if we don't pass this then that goes away. If voters say yes in November the construction would start here in the upper elementary portion of the school from preschool to sixth grade. And once the project is completed in 2024, the school's total capacity would go from 320 students to 480. The new facility will positively affect our STEM projects and FFA programs. The deficiencies in our electricity, sewer, fire, and ADA compliance ensures that this building must be updated. The cost to renovate and repair almost meets what a new facility costs. So yes, I vote yes on 4A. She chose to remain anonymous and for good reason. A local business owner had to take down their sign supporting the bond measure because of too many angry customers in opposition of the tax increase to pay for the new school. But the final decision comes soon when voters fill in the circle for yes or no this November, impacting the future success for the students.